Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be talking about the new Starbucks pods for the Nespresso Virtual Line machines. Is there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? But before we get into the video, guys, don't forget like, comment, and subscribe down below. Show your girls some holiday love. You guys can also catch me over on Instagram at Maison Molly. I'd love to connect with you there as well. Also, don't forget, we do have a giveaway going on. You have the opportunity to win a gift card to one of my favorite stores, and there's going to be two winners. So make sure you go to that video. I'll link it down in the description box for you. Comment with your uh, handle of choice, your social media handle of choice, and uh, let's see who the winner is going to be. So as some of you may know, uh, Starbucks came out with pots for the Nespresso virtual line machines. It's a new thing. Uh, you guys hit me up in the comments, let me know about it. And of course, I wanted to try it out for you guys. I believe there's currently six different pods. We are going to be trying three of them today as I don't know if I'm going to like them. And they're actually kind of like the same price points as the Nespresso pods. Actually, I think one of them was even more. So we're gonna try these three out and see how we like them. But before we get into that, let's uh, explore the six pods. So from the looks of things, they are uh, four coffee pods, so the 7.7 .7 ounces, and then there are two espresso pods, which are the 1.35 uh, ounce. Um, the two espresso ones are, uh, let's see, it says espresso roast, for an espresso virtual. Oh, this one's molasses and caramelized sugar notes. And the second one is going to be the Starbucks Blonde Espresso Roast. That one is smooth and sweet notes. So you guys know I got that one because I like the creamy drinks. And then for the four coffee pods, it's going to be Columbia, which is a toasted walnut and herbs notes. We got that one. Uh, Sumatra, which is earthy and herbal notes. Uh, Veranda Blend, which is toasted malt and baking chocolate notes. Um, two, four, six. Yeah, so those are going to be the six pots in the collection. So these are the three that we're going to be trying out. I got you guys the uh, Pike Place. Uh, this is a chocolate and toasted nut notes. And we also got Columbia. Columbia is toasted walnut herbs notes. And then we also got, I'm really excited to try this one, the uh, Starbucks Blonde Roast, which is smooth and sweet notes. So we're going to test these three out right now, and I'm going to let you guys know what I think. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and open them on up. Um, I actually really want to try this one. So uh, how do you open these? I think like this. And then it looks like this. So this is what the blonde um, espresso roast looks like. It has the same backing and everything like the regular pods, except this one says Starbucks blonde roast. So let's make a latte with this one and see what we think. Tip for you guys when I'm making my lattes, I like to put the milk in the glass first and then I'll put my um, espresso shot over it. Alrighty, while that's foaming, let's get into this one. So this is gonna be the Pike Place Rose. It's chocolate and toasted nut notes. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the way you open it because pop it open. This is what this guy's going to look like. Just like the other pods, except it says it's for Starbucks. Right, so we're gonna do that one. And Columbia, pop it open, just like that. Looks like the milk is ready. Um, we're gonna put it in this glass for our latte. It's so nicely foamed. Let's go ahead and roast that on up. I like to do a taste test too of pods I've never tried. So I'll always like 
do that just to get like a taste of the actual coffee. Hmm. Pretty espresso, espresso very robust. I feel like this one is supposed to be comparable to Bianca Leggero because Bianca Leggero is really creamy and this one says that it's going to be smooth and sweet. Bianca Leggero is kind of creamy, smooth and sweet. So let's see, because you guys know I love Bianca Leggero. So looks like it's all ready. I'm going to give it a stir. I also like to fold the foam back in as much as I can. Just gives it added flavor. Let's take a sip and see what we think. It is pretty smooth with the milk. It's good. I'm gonna add a pump of syrup um, of choice. Maybe some, uh, we'll do some caramel. Salted caramel. So now it's a salted caramel latte. <laughs> Okay, so honest review. It's nice. I'm not going to say that it's bad. On a scale of 1 to 10, you guys know I give Bianca Leggero like a 20. It's just when you're drinking Bianca Leggero, it's just very creamy and milky and very smooth. And it's kind of like ah, when you're drinking it, right? This guy... I like it. It is smooth, but it's it's lacking in the flavor of Bianca Leggero. That's what I would say. Like Bianca Leggero just has this like nice creamy smooth taste to it and this one It's fine. It just it's like yeah. It's fine, you know. I'm not like here like mm, my latte. Um, so on a scale of one to 10, I probably would give it like a, a six, maybe a seven to be nice. It's fine, but it's not the Nespresso pod, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, let's try the Columbia pod next. Um... So for me, one thing that I do when I'm making my coffee pods, I like to just pour a little bit of milk on the bottom. About that much, right? And then I go ahead and just brew the pot on over it. So let's let that work. And I sneak a taste. I like that. It's pretty like soft. This is Columbia and it has an intensity of seven. It's comparable to the regular Columbia pod. I have tried that one time. It's a part of like the Nespresso Origin collection, the Columbia pod. And I didn't really like a lot of the Origins, but the Columbia one was my favorite because it was pretty smooth and not too intense. Um, this tasted good. It's walnut and herb. So let's see what I think of it um, with the milk. All right, so this is gonna be the Columbia coffee pod um, with a little bit of milk on the bottom. Good crema, I would say. I watched a video where it said it's like good to Mix the crema back in because the crema is like the fat part of the coffee. So it adds the flavor back into the coffee. Let's see what we think. It's going to be a no for me. Um, It's just blah. Like... 
I just feel as though whenever I'm drinking my Nespresso coffees, they are an experience, right? Like I taste it and I'm like, hmm. I drink a lot of the coffee pods, guys, without any syrups or anything, just the coffee and that little bit of milk. I drink, same thing with Malazio. I typically drink Malazio without a creamer or anything. And it's usually, not a creamer, sorry, any syrup. And it's still a really nice experience. Like it's just really comforting and soft and smooth. This, there's nothing special to it, I promise. This one is just like, nothing special to it. This one, the espresso shot, definitely better than this. Yeah. Um, Let's add some syrup and see if that helps. This is butter rum. Um, didn't make it better. Um, so on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this one a one. I'm so serious. It's like nothing special to write home about. If you want a coffee experience where you can just sit back, read a book, like just create that environment for yourself, which is what my coffee is all about. Um, I would not get this one. So I don't know who we're going to get this box of Columbia to, but mm -mm. maybe some folks at work, they can try it and see how they like it. I, I should have been doing this one while I was talking. Let's empty this out. Coffee is life, guys. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and try this final one. It's the chocolate and toasted notes. So that should taste good. So maybe that will be comparable to our friend Chocolate Fudge over here. Chocolate Fudge is the bomb. Y'all should get it. Um, let's give it a try. So I'm going to do the same thing. New cup. I'm going to pour some milk on there. Let's see what happens. It looks like I can like it because it's like all blonde and whatnot. So let's see. Mommy. Yes, sweetheart. Yeah, my, my, my YouTube videos are on YouTube. Your YouTube videos on YouTube? Yeah. Very yeah, nice. It's ready. Check out Super Ayrton Squad, guys. It's Machal's channel. He plays games. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Want to say hi to the people? Well, hello, my son Molly. Fans, guess what? We don't call them my fans because they're like my friends. Well, hello, Ms. Amali friends. Yeah, they're our friends. Fans, oh, yuck, I don't like that. They're our friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I guess you really love my mom's channel. And I love them because they're nice and they support mom. And um, all right, well, let's try this out, see what we think. Bye, Ayrton. No problem. I can do that. Okay. Okay. Let's try this out. That one's better than the last. Definitely smoother. Um, yeah, definitely smoother. But still kind of blah. I'm so sorry. I kind of really wanted to like these. I don't know. I mean, nothing to write home about. Let's, um, they're like the same. Sure, maybe my taste buds are off or something, right? Let's make an espresso pot. Let's make Malazio, okay? I like Malazio, it's one of my faves. So this is four pots I've used today. Let's grab another mug. We're gonna brew um, some Malazio up. While we're doing that, again, I'll try to add some syrup to this one to see if it helps. Let's do hazelnut, because it's chocolate. I feel like hazelnut and chocolate would be nice. It's definitely better than the Colombian one because it has a little bit more flavor to it. 
I'd give this one a five. So this is Malazio. I'm going to mix the crema back in to my Malazio friend. The crema on this is like, woo. Maybe Starbucks, my taste buds are off and I won't like Malazio anymore. I don't know, let's see. Guys, I don't like to bash things because I feel as though I'm a pretty positive person. You can taste the creaminess in this. Like when I taste it, it's like, nice, soft, smooth, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. She's a happy goat. For sure. 10 out of 10. Let's go back to this espresso. I like it. I do like it. What did I give this before? Like a seven? It's a good seven. I would I would buy this one if Bianca Legera didn't exist. As always, guys, thank you for stopping by Maison Molly. It was my pleasure to do this video for you. Really trying to get into the new Starbucks pods and see what we think of them. Overall, they're a no for me personally, but you know, if you guys want to try it out, I suggest you do so because, you know, we all have different taste buds. Um, I'm going to stick with the original Nespresso pods from the Nespresso store. Um, if you guys have found added value in this video, then go ahead, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because um, we're going to have a lot of more cool videos like this coming your way. Um, we're still in Vlogmas. Today is day 18, so I'll see you guys back here on my channel for day 19 of Vlogmas. Have a good day.